Hey y'all, hey y'all, Pastor Alex here. Um, so this is a new show um, I'm doing here on my channel. It's called How To Tuesdays, where I'm gonna take complicated subjects, um, simple subjects, and just show maybe what the Bible says a little bit about it, what maybe a pastor or Christian might say about it. So why don't we jump straight into it? So, um, and I, this is a particular video that I've been meaning to do for quite some time. Um, so uh, a friend of mine uh, asked me, how do you pray um, with a very busy schedule, um, just in, in a hectic type schedule, how do you maintain yourself connected to God? And I answered her, it was a question uh, that that friend asked me through social media, and then another friend uh, asked me the same question with my busy schedule, how do you find time to stay connected to God? Um, they wanted to know in reference how do I do it because they wanted to, to be able to do it as well since they also have hectic and busy um, lifestyles. So um, you could develop a, a study, a very long study on prayer. But here are a few points that I wanted to um, add. So first and foremost, let me say this, um, if you're having trouble praying and keeping a connectedness to God in the midst of a hectic schedule, I'm not saying it's okay. What I'm trying to say is um, don't beat yourself too much up about it, like commit yourself to having that prayer life, but don't beat yourself up too much because others in the kingdom of God, others in the church also struggle with that same thing. So you're just part of a, a big body of people that are also struggling also to talk to God and etc. So don't beat yourself up too much, but let's get into it so that you do develop that prayer life point. Um, number one, and it's point number one is about setting up those big times of prayer for yourself, either in the beginning of the day or at the end of the day. Actually, if I had to recommend something, I'd recommend for you doing both. You know, a big chunk of prayer in the morning, um, one a big chunk of prayer in the evening before going to sleep. So, um, but if that's not possible, if it's either one or the other, I'd recommend, obviously, if it's not possible with time constraints and etc you do the latter the other one uh, but um, if I had to recommend one or the other I'd say the morning one it'll seriously change your disposition for the rest of the day it'll change the tone for the rest of the day it'll help you go from nobody talk to me until I have my coffee to good morning God bless so what I'm trying to say is if you have the opportunity to do that big uh, prayer time, uh, I recommend in the morning, it'll seriously change the rest of your day. And for you to commit yourself to have that long period of time of prayer will change um, just your whole life in general. Beyond that, what I recommend is the use of technology. Now, what's interesting about technology is that it could be um, a burden. It could be something that pulls us away from God, or we can use it as a resource to help us, uh, to draw us closer to God. I rebuke your technology. So, for example, with our smartphones, the use of alarms. So, the use of alarms really came to me with, when seeing certain businesses seeing Muslim businesses that at certain points of the day, um, Muslims, they'll stop and they'll just start praying and it doesn't matter what's going on, they're committed to that and that's that. So I thought to myself, if Muslims uh, can do that, can be committed to that degree, why can't us Christians be committed to that degree um, considering that we think we have the correct worldview? Um, so this is something that, for example, for myself, I put in the middle of the day, I put an alarm for the middle of the day on my phone and I set it to remind me to, to take out some time and pray. 
and you can do this as well set an alarm and specifically set it to with a name that has what you want to pray for so say your church or your spouse or your community um and and, and write that there so that when the alarm pops up it says pray for xyz um and it's a short prayer something you know 10 15 minutes that you could do in the middle of the day maybe during a lunch break and it will literally transform you will see how much your heart will change for that thing you will see how um, that area of your life will start to be blessed or start to change or start to be corrected by the Lord. It, it's really a wonderful thing. So use technology toward your advantage. I rebuke your technology. Another way that I recommend using technology is with Bible apps. Um, so for example, um, I have a Bible app on my phone and it offers a widget. If you don't know what a widget is, go ask somebody who does know so if they can help you out, put a widget on your phone. So um, I have a Bible app and it has a widget and I set up the widget on one of the screens and every single day it gives me a verse to read. When I read that verse, I take time to pray about the verse, to, to, to meditate on that verse. Um, and just have that as a mini devotional um, unto the Lord. So it's interesting because that's a little micro prayer, but you will see the change and impact that it will have in your life if you every day uh, turn on your phone, see this, read a verse of the Bible, so you're actually reading the Bible, and set a time to pray for, uh, you know, two, three minutes. You'll see the impact that it will have in your life. Lastly, I want to recommend, and if you do this and you do this effectively, it could transform your life, um, is the use of prayer journals, okay, or prayer diaries. Um, they, they do count when you write to the Lord. It does count as a prayer. Um, and what's wonderful about it is that it's something that you can take with you anywhere and anywhere you can open up and start writing whenever you have free time. Also, um, what's wonderful about it is that you can go back to old prayer journals and see and remind yourself of things that you wanted to continue praying for. Oh. Mm, don't want to pray for him anymore. Also, you can see how much you've grown since you maybe started um, journaling and praying unto the Lord in journal format. So there you guys have it. Um, let's get to praying. I rebuke your technology.